NASA is gearing up for another attempt to launch its mega moon rocket on Saturday. Artemis 1 is set to lift off tomorrow afternoon after its original launch was delayed. The U.N. crewed mission was scrubbed on Monday due to technical issues, but NASA says the problem was resolved and all systems are go for the historic flight. Joining us now is CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, always great to see you. I know it's been a busy week for you. Uh, let's talk about this. Is NASA taking on more risk with this second attempt to launch Artemis 1? Who's Bill talking to? Well, I don't think so. You know, the engineers say they've analyzed all of this in enormous detail. Uh, you know, the issue here was cooling of these engines. There was a sensor that was suspect. They now think that that absolutely was a bad sensor, just faulty sensor. They're going to ignore that. They have other sensors in the system that can confirm uh, the temperatures are getting to where they want. Uh, so they're quite confident they've got this figured out and they'll be okay to press through the countdown tomorrow. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait and see how that goes, uh, but they're confident. Yeah, Bill, I wanted to talk about this. We learned this week that anything can happen. This is rocket science after all. So what happens if the launch is unsuccessful tomorrow? Well, it really depends on a couple of things. If they, if they fuel up the rocket, if they load it with that 750,000 gallons of propellant, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, then their recycle options are a little bit more limited than if they don't load it with fuel. So if they don't load it because the weather's bad or some other problem comes up, they have a shot at launching on Sunday. If they do put the fuel in the tank, then they have to wait until Monday uh, because it would take that long to replenish the, the liquid hydrogen supplies at the launch pad to, so they could gas it up for another attempt. Uh, so really tomorrow is their best shot at it. Monday would be the best backup, but in theory they could launch Sunday depending on how it plays out. I know it's, it's all simple and straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Until the weather hits. Well, if all goes well, and hopefully it does, what's the long-term goal for the Artemis program moving forward? Well, you know, this is the first test flight of this giant SLS rocket, the Space Launch System rocket. It's the most powerful rocket NASA's ever built. 8.8 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. They want to make sure the rocket is working well before you put people on board. Now, this mission is going to send an Orion crew capsule, the same kind of capsule that will carry astronauts, on a long orbit around the moon. It will come back to Earth and make this high-speed reentry that heats up the heat shield to like 5,000 degrees. They want to make absolutely that sure that that all works. And if it does, they plan to launch four astronauts aboard one of these spacecraft in 2024. They'll simply loop around the moon and then come back to Earth. And then, and this is a little bit ambitious, they're hoping to launch astronauts back to the moon in 2025 or 26 to actually land. And that'll be, as they say, the first woman and the next man to walk on the moon. Uh, going to be interesting to see if they can actually make those targets. they got a lot of work to do, but that's the plan. And it all starts with tomorrow. So, Bill, thanks so much for joining us. We'll be watching tomorrow.